welcome to my channel I'm starting off the video with showing you guys this amazing LED nail lamp it's by glow dry from vanity planet it's amazing guys I'm in love with it and I'm just showing you guys it comes with an instructional manual and a 50% coupon for your next purchase and it has a one-year warranty and it's just two pieces that come in the box nothing complicated the lamp and the cord it's so good I can't rave enough about it I was looking for one that's why I'm so happy guys because I was looking for one I purchased a sensational one and I didn't like it and this one works so good I know you guys are gonna love it and I have a 70% off discount code for you guys can it get any better than that <laughs> I'm so happy um, it's it originally cost $100 but with the 70% off you guys are gonna get it just for 30 bucks guys it's a must I'm so happy because I get to travel with it so yay for us um, these are the nail factory nail forms I love these I purchased these in royal factory nails dot big and this acrylic that I'm using is my new acrylic mix called berry it's I'm loving this color it also looks great matte um, as you can see this bead that I'm placing in the cuticle area I'm always careful there because I don't want to touch the cuticle this last bead I'm putting it in the end brushing it into uh, the rest of the nail I'm cleaning out the sides and making sure the ends are clean and once I'm done, before it sets completely, I'm going to pinch the nail. You know to pinch the nail when the nail isn't so sticky and it starts losing its shine. And I, I, we pinch because we want that C-curve there. Okay, I put a berry on the thumb, the pointer finger, and the pinky. And on the middle finger and the ring finger, I'm going to be using clear acrylic. So now I place that second bead and I'm just going to brush it into the rest of the nail and just shape it. This last bead is in the stress point, the stress area of the nail, just to give that nail strength. Once I'm done, I'm going to file and I'm going to buff. And I already did that, so I'm just removing that excess dust with this manicure brush. And I'm going to be using Nail Factory's cleansing spray to remove all of that dust. And this is the part that I'm so excited to show you guys. You guys, Vitro 272 Gold Leaf Gel is to die for. It's so beautiful, and what I was so surprised is that you need... With just a little bit, you can cover this whole nail. And I have long nails here. Its opacity is amazing. Its shine is amazing. The quality of it is amazing. It goes on so smooth. It's the first time that I try Vitro gels and I'm addicted. I'm a fan and I will definitely be buying all the colors. Look at how beautiful this is. It's so beautiful. You guys have to go and get yours. I got the gold leaf and the silver leaf just to try them out, but I'm I'm in love. I'm gonna purchase all the colors. <laughs> so I cured that in the LED lamp, and now I'm adding Nova Inks UV Shine uh, top coat just to give it that extra shine and protect it. I'm in love, and it's beautiful, and I'm, it doesn't need anything else on top. It's just beautiful like that. Now I'm going to do some 3D nail art on the ring finger. I'm using white acrylic. This black acrylic is called Black Dahlia and this Organic Nails 3D brush. Look how beautiful that point is. That's why I love it so much. So I place the bead. I wait for it to set a little bit and then I press into it and then I pull to give it that, give that petal shape and then I open it up a bit just to give it some texture. And I want to show you guys first I go into the white acrylic then I dip into my black dahlia I, I use this black acrylic black dahlia because it has gold glitter in it and when it dries and the nail moves you just see these gold little uh, reflection of the, of the glitter and it looks really beautiful and I hope you guys like it I really love this design um, the petals as you can see they're very simple the only difference is that little bead I put in the center and then I open it up with the tip of the brush and just shape it a bit and I'm going to do the same petals throughout the whole nail. I was going to fill out the whole nail, but I just went along the side of it, just as you can see there. And now I'm going to adhere these clear rhinestone Swarovskis. 
on the nail with my handy dandy crystal katana and Nova Inks resin. I was going to fill up the whole nail but I didn't. I just went half ways with it and then I left the tip clear. I really liked the way that it looked and I hope you guys like it too. I'm going to put UV shine on, bear, on all the nails where I used the berry mix. I'm just putting primer on the cuticle area just to make sure that UV shine adheres better and there's no lifting. And that's it guys, I'm curing with this wonderful lamp. I'm leaving the information of where you can purchase this lamp down in the description box. Take advantage of the discount code that I got you guys. It's 70% and you're going to love it as much as I do. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and remember live to inspire.